What is up everybody, Shadow Duelist 17 here once again, and I'm going to give you the update to my Mega Colonies. I do now have the Limit Break, and I added a couple more cards, about like three, maybe four more, I'm not I don't remember exactly. It's probably three. Anyways, let's go with the deck. I, I'm going to show you like, since you already know my deck entirely, I'm going to show you what I have so far with my Great Nature deck. I'm still missing a lot of cards. My one friend from my local is going to help me out with my deck since he built the deck himself and he's keeping that deck, but he does have a lot of extra stuff, so he's going to help me out with that. Anyways, let's go on with the deck. Karibo, once again. Now I'm gonna show it differently like I did before, like unlike last time, so yeah. Got the card sleeve. It's a great card sleeve. I only put it for my starting vanguard, as you can see. The other sleeve was my great nature's starting vanguard. Four grade ones. Uh, let's do what I did last time. Get it out of the way. Oh, excuse me. I ate something a little bit earlier. Seems that every time I do a video, I always eat, eat something before. Like I said, four great ones. Ride. Add the grade two. Call one, drop a grade three if you don't need it. Add the grade three. It's great if you have two of these in your hand. That way, just in case you only you, you will have all grade ones, let's say. I don't know how that's going to happen, but let's just say that. Or you get one grade three and a couple grade ones. Maybe one grade two. And some triggers, I don't know. Call this, drop the grade three, like say, I use Hell Spider, okay? Let's say that. Call this, drop Hell Spider to drop zone. Grab the grade three version. I'm gonna keep the right chain on top. Right, grade two. Only one grade two. With four grid ones, I pull off the chart right chain a lot, so explanatory like I did last time. Yeah, let's keep it like that. Right, grid three. A lot of people should know these names. We got Larva Mutant, Pupa Mutant, Evil Mutant, and Evil Armor General Giraffas. I don't know why this came out to be Evil Armor General. Just evil armor general, but everything else uses mutants. I don't know why. This one doesn't. But, oh well. Explain the riot chain a little bit. I gotta already explained that. This, when you have the when you have larva mutant under, he gains plus 2,000. A lot of chain rides already have 7,000 for its base to gain 1, plus 1. But he gains plus 2. And the other part, I explained it already. Grade 2. When you have the grade one in soul, um, gains plus one thousand, so he's a base of ten. So he's base ten, and when he, he his attack hits Vanguard, when your attack hits Vanguard, you can choose one of your opponent's rear guards, and it won't be able to stand. Ride the grade three, gains plus one thousand, so it's, it'll be at eleven thousand. When he hits a vanguard, when the attack hits a vanguard, counterblast two, choose which two of your rear guards. Say you, say you have two of these, you don't need them anymore, all right? Because you got the, you twin drive, you got two stealth millipedes. Tire them, send a drop zone. Retire two of your opponent's grade one or less units. Now up to the zeros. The extra zeros I run. Got Mega Colony Battler C and Mega Colony Battler A. I used to run B, but I don't run B anymore. Expl um, explanatory stuff on this one. Put in Guardian, Soul Charge. I do run the Mega Blast, as you could probably see in my last video. I'll probably put a link in my last video or my next video. 
down below. So, I don't know how I'm going to do that because I'm not really sure how to do this stuff, but anyways. This grade zero, it's also another starter vanguard sometimes, maybe sometimes, I don't know, but I'm like more stuck on the right chain. But if I want to like switch out the right chain since I have the limit break now, use this as starter vanguard, you ride on top of this, slides out to a rear guard circle. And when an attack hits when this card boosted a unit, you counter blast one, soul charge it, um, unit can't stand. Explain everything in my last video. Standard stuff, four draws. Um, I think I grabbed the heal. Yep, grab the heal. Always do that. Four heals. I don't know if you can see the last one. Yep. This is like a structure or one of those um, trial decks, as they are called in Yugi or sorry, Vanguard. Yugi, oh, they're called starter decks. These are trial decks. I don't know why they're called trial decks. And four stands. Like how this name says Sonic Sidka. Uh, that's I think how you pronounce his name. In my last video, you probably heard me say Sonic Boom. It's really funny. Karma Queen, just to throw them off. Yeah, a lot of people don't like Karma Queen. I like it because it's a good 7k booster. And you can't plus two. Your rear guard can't stand. Opponent's rear guard can't stand. It's good. Uh, I took out the Phantom Black, as you can see probably from this card up here. So I took out Phantom Black for the next card I'll show you. I kept the one Karma Queen. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. This video might be long, too, to explain some of the other cards and re-explain these cards, but I try to give you the gist of each one. Uh, we got... Machining or mocking, whatever the hell you want to pronounce it, mosquito. Now, when you call this or ride it, or when this unit's placed in rear, or vanguard or rear guard, you soul charge one. It's good just in case you don't have the chain ride and you do have the grade two in your hand. You check top. Oh, look, uh, pretend this is grade one. Oh, look at that. We got the. Er, oh, look at that. Soul charge. Got the grade one in soul. Doesn't matter if they're right underneath or not. Got a grade one in soul. Yay. Next turn. Grade two, 10,000. If they don't remember, just say, oh yeah, I soul charged the grade one from Mosquito Skill. Two perfect guards. A lot of people would um, argue about using three, maybe four. I use two. This thing usually clogs up my hand, even though I only have two. Helps me out in like I you usually it comes out in the toughest situations with this deck I really don't have tough situations to deal with mainly because of the next card stealth millipede So I just run two a lot of people would run three I am uh, I'll explain what I was gonna say later on Just making sure I'm gonna grab another card under it We've got four stealth millipedes Every deck should run four of these because when it boosts, boosts, look at that. Oh, grade three chain ride. Boost 21,000 to Vanguard if your opponent's unit's arrested. And since this deck mostly depends on resting and with him retiring, yeah, you got the boost automatically. I was versing Spike Brothers, my friend's Spike Brother deck with this, with my Mega Colonies. It was great because since he always tapped out each Spick Brother and then just brought back another rest rested. Oh, I got my 21k or 10k booster. And we got grade two lineup. Galatine of the of the Mega Colonies. It is a beetle holding a dual two Uzis. I believe those are Uzis. I don't know, whatever you want to call them. I use him because he's like the Galatina deck. I only run three. I would probably take out one to add another card, but I don't know what, what it would be. If I got another grade two, that's better. One, Iron Cutter Beetle. Now, if you have the grade two or grade three on Vanguard Circle, 
and he's in rear guard, he stays at five ten thousand. But if you have another grade two or a grade three, even if they're in a rear guard, he will get minus five thousand. You get minus five thousand. Let's see if you can read that. Uh, wait, uh, a little blurry, but you could probably see the minus five. And when he attacks a unit, or when he attacks Vanguard, oh no, just when he attacks, he gains plus two. So if you're at just five thousand, because you don't have the the other two, you use seven thousand. Oh, whoops. You got two Iron Fist Mutant Roly Polies. I have no clue what insect that is. I remember. I know I've seen these things before, but I don't remember. Anyways, grade two. Intercept. Whoops. When you intercept with him, he becomes a 10k intercept. I don't know. Uh, you, yeah, you could probably read that better. When this unit intercepts, if you have a Mega Colony Vanguard, he gets plus 5,000 shield. So 10k intercepts. I only run two. I'm do, I will do the same thing with my great natures. I do have one 10k intercept right now, but I'm trying to get another one. And Tail Joes. Self explanatory. 11k attacker when your opponent's units are rested. Health Spider, like I said before. Drop Health Spider from grade one. Ed, Ed Evil Jar or General. Evil Armor General. When he's placed, counterblast two, unit can't stand. And when he's only Vanguard, only when he's Vanguard, you attack with him, he gains plus 3,000. So the max I ever went was 23, which was with him when he's Vanguard. I only wrote him as Vanguard once or a couple times before I got my grade two. Like when I first got the deck, I had grade three and the grade one. I never had the grade two. I got the grade two about two weeks ago, maybe a week. Like about a week, maybe two ago, before I made the video of my last um deck, or the last time I used made the, or made a video, got violent vesper, self-explanatory call, check top. Oh, great three, no trigger. Good. I have pulled a lot of triggers. I usually got my heal triggers. No, usually crits, my critical triggers. Sometimes I got a heal. One time I got like a stand. And before wrapping up the grade three lineup, you got three mega blasters. Self-explanatory. Soul charge against plus two. Counter blast five mega blast or mega blast. Um, counter blast five soul blast eight. None of your opponent's rear guards can stand. And since with the stealth millipede, it really drains their their hand. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Sorry about that. I almost dropped my camera. And what was I saying? Oh yeah, with the stealth millipedes, they usually uh. Um, guard way too much. And to finally wrap up the grade 3 lineup, one Martial Arts Mutant Master Beetle. Limit break of, limit break of the deck. When you have 4 or more damage, Counter Blast 3, when it when his attack hits, I believe. Yeah, when he attack when his attack hits, you Counter Blast 3 to choose two of your opponent's rear guards, they can't stand. Now, if you have a non mega colony vanguard or rear guard, he gets minus 2000, so he become 9k. Since, like, I don't know why they put that there. It's just that since he's vanguard, he still stay at 11,000, even if your opponent, like, say, they use Kagaros or Kageros, depending on how you pronounce it. Ugh. They retire all your units. Oh well, I'm still at eleven thousand. So yeah, um, let me break game or whatever. So that's my Mega Colony deck, or the updated version of my Mega Colonies. Got the ride chain. Put the Karibu Coke token down here. Now, Great Natures. At first, I was gonna use the Chain Ride. I did have a the School Prodigy locks, the Grade Zero, and two of the Grade Ones. I think it was um Law Official. No, I don't remember, but it was locks. It was the Grade One locks. Oh, excuse me. Damn it. Sorry about that, guys. 
Now when unit rides this, call a rear guard, counter blast two, opponent or one of your rear guards gain plus four thousand, they must retire at the end phase. Green natures are all about retiring and bringing out more stuff. So it's a good thing. Um, let's put you over here. I only have seven triggers for right now. Hopefully my friend that I was telling you about earlier is going to give me more triggers. With seven, I just need nine more triggers. Two more heals. The rest, I'll, I'll figure out what I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to do the standard thing like I do with my mega colonies. I'm not sure, but probably just add draw triggers more. Nah, I'm going to just do what I... What I'm doing with my mega colonies, standard um, grade lineup or trigger lineup. For him, when he is rested, counter blast one, add another ruler chameleon to your hand. It's great, but not that great at the same time because you're pulling out triggers, mainly criticals. And but it doesn't really matter because you're adding a 10k shield to your hand, so that's pretty good. Like I said. Two heal triggers, self-explanatory for the trigger, or the heal triggers, always need four. And one draw trigger. Yeah, like I said, only seven triggers. Now I did the same thing with my, my great natures as I did with mega colonies, add two more great zeros. What he does, you rest him, one of your units gain plus 4,000 and they must retire at the end phase. Good card, good card. This is the troublemaker of the deck. Stamp Seed Otter. Oh. Yeah, this guy is called Intellimouse. I'm only doing the names to the certain triggers and um and the or non-triggers, other stuff. Stamp Seed Otter or Stamp Sea Otter. He cannot be rested by, or he can't be re retired by card effects. So even if you have, even if you put the 4,000 on him with Intellimouses, he won't retire. So I only run two because he's probably, he is like one of the hardest cards to get in the deck, I say, I would say, since he's one of the promos. So got two of him, 6,000 good card. There's a lot of cards that I like. With just two of those, I could probably win a match. This one time, I, even though this deck is incomplete, I have played with this deck against my brother's Royal Paladins. And it was he has the trial deck. I, he, I have gotten him cards for his deck, but not really much that people were, would use because he wants to base his deck on soul charging and soul blasting anyways so i played this i used my vanguard skill i forget who it was but it's like counter blast 2 add 4000 and tell the mouse add 4000 and some other cards add 4000 so he's at 14,000 plus my vanguard being 10 it's like was it 24,000 Vanguard? Oh, my unit doesn't get rested at the end phase. Oh, yeah. And we got the little Sage Marin of the deck. Silver Wolf. Pretty self explanatory. We got two of these. Oh, damn, this thing's ripping. As you can see, can't take care of this, right? Two Thumbtack Fighters. Counter Blast 1 at 1,000. I might be taking those out when I finish the deck, but I'm not sure. Whoops. TikTok flamingos. When you when you call this to a rear guard. Oh good jeez. Choose a great nature or another great nature rear guard. When that unit's retired, it'll gain this effect. I'll show you this if you can read it. It's in red. Anyways, this is during your end phase when this unit is rested or sent to the drop zone from a rear guard circle. Choose a card in your damage zone and turn it face up. So it unflips damage when you place this. Choose another one. When that unit retires, unflip damage. Oh, Jesus. Two Feather Penguins. This is for the One Limit Break School Dominator apt. When you boost with him, Soul Blast 1 
and your and your school dominator app will gain plus five thousand. Yeah, plus five thousand. Only run two because I'm I'm not sure how many school dominator apps I'm gonna use. <clears throat> because I there's like three limit bricks for this deck. I think. Got Leopold, apt. I think there's that bison one, but I'm not sure. Got one monoculus tiger. Probably I'm probably hoping to get another one. But I'm not sure. I'll probably just stick with one. When he attacks, when he, he must attack a vanguard, so you must have him in the first in the first up or in the up front row. You attack Vanguard, can give plus four thousand to any other rigor in your in your lineup. And then at the end phase retire it. Great for the limit break. Great for the limit break. Failure science failure scientist Ponkichi. Ponkichi. Counterblast one. Place a damage. Oh, I just damaged myself. I have three damage? Okay. Limit break. Game. Or whatever, depending on what limit break is used. And then at the end phase, choose one of those damages, put back in your deck. So say you had a critical trigger in there. You bring back that critical trigger into your deck or heal trigger. I'm I'm very sorry about having this thing so long, but I really want to show you my great nature deck, even if it's not completed. Okay, when attack hits, I'm only running the, one of the hula hoops. When attack hits, discard a card, draw a card. I've got the Galazine of the deck once again. Four of them. Unlike Mega Colonies, I only have three. These guys, I'm staying because I like pandas. They're kind of cool. I don't like love pandas that like a lot enough to like have everything in my room pan or panda related, but I do like pandas. Got the failure or explosion scientist Buta Boonta. Yeah, Boonta. Same thing as um, failure scientist. It's almost like a chain red thing, but not really. Three millimeter giraffes. When he attacks, if you have more, if your opponent has more face up damage than you, or if they have two or more face up damages, because their deck doesn't counter blast a lot, like um, Mega Colonies, unlike well the way I run it, I don't really counter blast a lot. So he gains plus three thousand. So he's eleven. Like I said, ten k intercept, glow more Mandillo. Hoping to get another one of him. We got Pencil Knight Hamsuki. Yeah, Hamsuki. Got one. This is this thing is almost like a chain wreck because it has the grade one and a grade two, which I have now, and a grade three. I'm probably just gonna run two of each of the pencil knights. Or pencil. Or the hamster pencils, whatever. Uh here's the grade three I was talking about. Scientist Monkey Roo. Counter plus two, your opponent choose one of your great nature rear guard, gains plus four thousand at the end phase, retire it. This is what I did. Since it's an act thing, I could activate it more than once. Counter plus two. Plus four thousand is stamp sea saw stamp sea otter. Counter plus two plus another four. Ten thousand, ten thousand twenty. Telemouse, plus four. Telemouse again, plus four. So he's uh Trying to do math. I'm sorry, my bad. Or I'm really bad at math. Okay. Um. So 10, 14, 16, or 10, 14, 16. It's 22 by himself. So 32 to Vanguard. Really high chance. And finally, school back sea lion. When you drive check and reveal a grade three, gains plus 5,000. He's the uh, Crimson Butterfly Bridget from Royal Paladins. Anyways, that's my great nature and mega colonies. Like I said, I am Zoo. I am the Zoo team, basically, using great natures and mega colony. They're both from the Zoo clan. As you can see, they're both green. I want to build Dark Irregulars. But I am still not sure about that deck. I'm probably just going to build it, test it out. If I like it, I'll keep it. If I don't, I'll probably sell it. I'm not sure. But I'll, I, like, I like to keep decks, even if there's a deck that I don't want to have anymore. I would keep it or just trade it, get better cards for other decks. But 
if I make dark irregulars and keep it or don't like it, I'll still keep it around just in case I want to play with or play the deck again. But anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Please tell me what you think about my great nature so far. I think I made a huge improvement with this deck, unlike the when I first started. When I Great Natures is the first deck I ever wanted to build. I heard about the deck when I first started Vanguard. I asked my friend if they could help, if he could help me out, and he asked me, "Okay, what kind of deck or what kind of player are you?" And I'm like, "A guy that uses strategy, somewhat of a lot of power to knock out my opponent. It's mostly strategy and um, power to me. Everything else, everybody else is just oh, deck kill you quick. Okay, game." Within like three turns. I don't really care about that. I just want strategy, power, and to have fun. Like, I like, got, or I, I hang out with people that think of the game as fun. They don't just play the game, just kill people, and have prices all over the place. So, uh, what the hell was I talking about? What was I talking about? Oh, jeez. Anyways, like I said... Tell me what you think of the deck so far. Give me a comment about uh, what do you think I should add to the deck. Don't I don't care how many you tell me about, but just tell me what card you think is good for what I have now. And like, comment, subscribe. Shadow Duelist 17, signing off.